getting set for this restart. McLaughlin the leader. Jeff Green, who has only led one lap at Talladega in six Bush Series starts, is second. <laughs> Katie McLaughlin. I don't know. Oh, my heart. Make, I don't know if she can make it 11 more laps. I don't either. We're going to have a double file restart again. You have to get into that 10 lap to go into before it's single file. Double file restart, 11 laps to go. Pull on your belts one more time, DW. It's going to get exciting. Hey, and don't leave out Big Orange. Jimmy Spencer oh, here yeah. third. This is his fourth race in the number one car. 13th at Darlington. Engine trouble at Bristol and Texas. Oh, I think he's the man to beat. This restart's so important. Be smooth with those shifts. Hit every gear. They're restart. Getting, they're getting away from Spencer. Yeah, he didn't get up to speed, and he's getting a little help from, uh, from Skinner there to get him going. The two lead cars got away. And McLaughlin they, and Green. They've got lap cars in between them right there. But but let me tell you, when you get out front, you're just a setting duck. They're just going to get a bigger run at you. That's all they're going to do. Greg Biffle in the 60 car pulling down behind below Mike Skinner there in the 21. They're going to be four wide down the back stretch. Well, that's good news for the leaders, but how will this shake out? Spencer coming along on the high side in third, closing up on the lead duo. I think he's got the better of the three cars. Definitely better than Green, and I don't think McLaughlin can hold him off either. Four wide behind them. Wow. You know, you got no choice. I mean, you're down inside of 10 laps to go. The race is on the line. You got to go. For the lead, Mike Skinner trying to take it from Jeff Green. Up alongside of Spencer. And McLaughlin holds the point. And Jeff Green's going to lose a position here. Caught on the outside from these three guys right here. McLaughlin, Spencer, Skinner. Green needs to get back in line as quick as he can, or he could really find himself in trouble here. Needs to drop down get behind Skinner. He does. And Greg Biffle comes right up with him. Can Katie McLaughlin last 10 more laps? I'm sure if Mike was looking there, he'd say, Honey, I thought you liked racing. She does not like Daytona and Talladega. Mike has had some hard crashes at both these tracks. As nervous as she is, I can certainly understand that. And here comes Spencer. And of course, these two guys have raced each other in the Modifieds many times. Spencer's looking to the inside, but he can't quite make the pass. He didn't have any help that time. Had to get back in line here going off into turn one. Mike Skinner going to pull to the high side. He'll shoot to the bottom with the help of Jeff Green if he can get it. Spencer comes up to block Skinner. This is like tic-tac for all the dough right here. Yeah. Spencer's got a run on him this time, and, and of course McLaughlin Skinner, is... Skinner, he's down. Oh, Spencer man. was in the infield. Took him all the way almost to the grass, and Skinner's done that before. He knows that's not the right thing to do. That's the reason they don't have grass back there anymore. That's right. It didn't work. McLaughlin on the inside by himself, back for the lead. But Skinner, Skinner's going to help. Well, no, Whoa. Skinner doesn't know who to help. <laughs> Jeff Green's going to the bottom, though, in the 10 car. He's going to help McLaughlin Spencer. They touch. They go right out of racetrack here. They're out of racetrack. He's down on the apron. Boy, that's a dangerous move oh. to get down on the apron like that. Trouble. What car's in the wall in the trioval? Purvis spins across the field, and everybody gets through. Now, these guys are racing up front. They're still racing back to the green, back to the caution flag. The racetrack is clear now. I don't know if this will be for the race, but they want to race all the way back to the start finish line to see that caution flag. Mike McLaughlin has got a fast race car, guys. He has been able to hold Spencer off, and I didn't think he'd be able to. Todd Bodine in the double zero. He's trying to get as many positions as he can here in three and four. Bodine up for four. The first three are single file, but there's still a mile to go to the caution flag. And this is what we hate about the start finish line being way down here where it is. Watch this. You're going to have a real race on your hands just to get to the start finish line. Look Spencer. at Spencer on the apron. Skinner down to the bottom. Uh, McLaughlin did what he had to do, and he holds on to the flag. I got to tell you. That McLaughlin car is fast. He's got enough car to win this race. I'm with Katie. I can't stand <laughs> it either. <laughs> oh, boy. There's seven laps to go. That's a long time under yeah. caution. It will probably get this race restarted. Jeff Purvis is all right. He's put the window net down. That's a signal to rescue officials that he is okay. But what happened to the 18 car? Looking at him as they come into the trial oval here. Oh. Just come up kind of in front of Greg Biffle. Come right across car. in front of Biffle, and uh, they made a little contact. 
Of course, Jeff Purvis, that's Mike McLaughlin's teammate. Both these guys drive for Joe Gibbs. Boy, lucky right there. Nobody hit him. That's called threading the needle right there. Just threading your way through there. Purvis is down on the bottom, and the cars, believe it or not, they're, they're really difficult to drive right through that part of the trial. Saw Ward Burton get down on that apron here a couple of years ago in the Winston Cup race and got into Dale Earnhardt and caused a big crash. That is a hard part of this racetrack. You don't realize how much of a curve that trial is till you got the angle that we're looking at it. It is, it's quite a corner. Oh yeah, and then when you drop your wheels down on the apron, it just causes the car to slide back up on the racetrack. I want whatever color chips are in Larry Foyt's pockets. <laughs> watch the purple car. He just, uh -huh. at the end of this, he just dodges another one. These cars are well out of harm's way. Here comes Foyt. Not yet, sorry. He Sean just got to sneak the through there again. There Boy. he is. Yeah, there he goes. Just close call. Wow. All right, you're on board Jeff Purvis. See the blurs going by, and that's cars. I, I have woke up in the middle of the night to those sounds in a cold sweat. That <laughs> and the tires crying. And do you think uh, it's ever going to end there? I don't Is think it's happening? ever going to go away. <laughs> we'll have at least two more laps of caution. As now Purvis's car is picked up and hauled away, which means we will get this race back under green. Well, we really got to shoot out now. 